previously on the Levi Trumbull channel. Tulsa Desai is a two-faced, lying, spineless, no integrity, hack government employee. Uh, I did just want to make the, the comment. We had the caller in that was um, making comments about staff that uh, I would prefer not to hear in this forum. Unfortunately, under the Constitution, uh, public comment gives callers or speakers the right to say anything they want. All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull here. Clara is here as well. And you guys are going to love this next video coming up. As some of you know, I called into the Frederick County Council last week to endorse question B. That's the ballot initiative. And to do that, to endorse that position, I had to give a little bit of a redress of grievance as it relates to some particular staff in the Frederick County Planning and Permitting Department. Uh, well, in response to that call in and that public comment, uh, Mr. Council President Brad W. Young called my speech, my dialogue, unfortunate. Well, I called back in and I let him know what I think is unfortunate about his Frederick County Planning and Permitting Department. So with that, guys, again, you're going to love this video coming up and we'll talk to you. Good evening. This is Levi Trumbull located in Leonard Ridge, Frederick City, Maryland, 21703. So last Tuesday, I called into this meeting to pray ballot initiative question B that would allow the county council to remove deficient department heads. It's a good initiative, and I wanted to express that. During that dialogue, I spoke professionally but strongly as to why I was in favor of that initiative. And to that end, I called out some of your negligent county staff that I believe should be removed from their positions for their disservice to this good community. Now, I've said all I needed to say there for the time being, and I would have been done if it weren't for what happened next. In response to my professional critique of the government, the council president said the following in reference to me, quote, we had a caller making comments about staff that I would prefer not to hear in this forum. Unfortunately, under the Constitution, public comment gives callers or speakers the right to say anything they want. Well, Mr. Council President, I apologize that it's unfortunate that you had to hear me tell the truth about your planning and permitting department. But while we're on the topic of things that are unfortunate, I made a list myself of the things that I think are unfortunate about your planning and permitting division. So with that, here we go. I think it's unfortunate that in 2002, the Frederick City Mayor fired Gary Hessong from city permitting, and then Frederick County turned around and hired him for county permitting. I think it's unfortunate that Gary Hessong showed his appreciation to Frederick County hiring him by vandalizing his co-worker's vehicle and getting charged with malicious destruction of private property. I think it's unfortunate that the former Frederick County Planning and Permitting Inspector, Kathy Evans, had a criminal history of writing bad checks, but still somehow managed to become a law enforcer in this county. I think it's unfortunate that Frederick County Zoning Administrator Tolson Desai is currently in the circuit court fighting off a malicious prosecution lawsuit brought by Deborah Wessels. I think it's unfortunate that your planning and permitting department has found time to selectively persecute Corey Burtner, Deborah Wessels, and the horses on Larson Lane over petty nonsense, but turns a blind eye to actual serious violators in the county. I think it's unfortunate that your planning commission was doing off-the-record backroom non-disclosure agreement deals with Amazon.com for data centers. I think it's unfortunate that the only reason we found out about that was because the Sugarloaf Alliance, Steve Black, and the rest of them filed a public information lawsuit against the bastards in one big. I think that it's unfortunate that as a result of that lawsuit, Frederick County paid out $25,000 in sanctions because of the wrongful conduct to conceal the dirty deeds of the department. And finally, I think it's unfortunate that everything that I just said would never be said unless I called in to say it, because it shouldn't be me saying it. It should be you saying it. But don't worry, because I did just say it. And so for that, Mr. Council President, I would say that Frederick County just became a lot more fortunate. Have a good night. Good evening. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll stand by my comments from last week. Uh, any other uh, callers? All right. 